What up guys, Fojo here, and today I'm coming to you with another weapon drops video, the best weapon drops at New World. This time we'll be going over the spear, and which one of the spears you should go after in New World. I had to change the lists around a little bit because with the new way that they have raffle bones working, a lot of the spears that I had on the list are no longer super viable, unless you see them on the market. I will be listing them at the end to let you guys know if you see them on the market, or you happen to kill raffle bones to keep those or be able to sell those for a lot. I had to change a bunch of lists around so that's why it kind of took me a while to get back to these and get back into the weapon lists. But real quick, if you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel, about 90% of you guys are now subscribed to the channel. And if you could hit that bell and let you know every time a new video comes out, that would help me out a ton. I'd really appreciate that if you could do that. Also leave a comment about what your favorite spear is in New World. And if I happen to miss your favorite spear and let everybody know if they need to know about another spear I missed. But the spear is a good choice for a lot of different things in New World. It works with both dexterity and strength. So you can do lots of different builds with a spear if you need to. I like to use mine for corrupted dungeons and stuff like that. A lot of these spears you're going to get in this list are either from dungeons or boss drops. I will say for spears I tend to get a little better drops on random legendary drops than I do other weapons. And seem to get a little luckier with those. Uh, I'm not sure why, it just happens to be my luck. But I also use a spear that's not even on this list because it's one that's perfect for situations I need. But a lot of these will be for situations like Angry Earth, Corruption, just specific situations you'll need certain spears. But a lot of them are also either going to help you in strength, dexterity, or constitution, depending on what you need. So to start off with, we will go with the Angry Earth Exterminator. The Angry Earth Exterminator comes with 30 dexterity, Angry Earth plus 14 damage to Angry Earth, Vicious plus 11% critical damage, and Keen 11% critical chance. And this is one that a lot of people tend to go with. Uh, you get it out of Genesis, and it can drop from many different enemies in Genesis, so it's just kind of a dungeon drop. A lot of people tend to go with this one for a lot of reasons. This is a very common one for people to use. And our next one is also a very common one, uh, which is the Javelin of Dryadic Empowerment. Uh, also 30 dexterity, also has keen, plus 11% critical chance, keenly empowered, on critical gain 15% of power for 5 seconds, and vicious, plus 11% critical damage. And now this one's also from Genesis, but you get this one specifically from the Greenskeeper in Genesis. So this one may take a little longer to get, which is why the Angry Earth Exterminator is probably a choice before this one. But this one is probably better overall. But the Angry Earth on it is nice for specific reasons. And our next one will be the Farseer Spear. This one has 10 strength and 20 dexterity on it. It comes with enchanted, light and heavy attacks deal 9.6% more damage, keen plus 11% critical chance, and vicious plus 11% critical damage. And so the Farseer Spear comes from Dynasty Mutated. It can either drop from Isabella, Oro, or Joven. So you have a couple different options as far as drops go there. It has to be mutated, remember that when you go in there. You cannot go into the normal dynasty and get this. You can get it at a lower level, below a 590, but you cannot get it at a 590+. Plus. And then for our next spear, we have the Blackguard Spear. The Blackguard Spear comes out of the Tempest Dungeon, specifically from Crewman Alvaro or Cutthroat Eduardo. These guys are kind of halfway through the dungeon, not crazy difficult to fight. They are surrounded by multiple enemies, though, so you're going to have to fight groups when you do this. But this gives you multiple options as drops for that as well. The Blackguard Spear comes with 30 Dexterity. Thwarting Counter, deal 14% additional damage against targets with active grit. Keen, plus 11% critical chance, and Keenly Jagged on crit cause bleed that deals 7% weapon damage per second for 6 seconds. And now this next one is something you have to go through a war to get and get from a war cache afterwards. This is the Conqueror's Spear. The Conqueror's Spear has 30 constitution. Life stealing, you gain 5% of your damage as health. Leeching Cyclone, every hit of the Cyclone heals you for 31% weapon damage, and Refreshing reduces max cooldowns by 2.8%. Now this one's kind of an odd one to throw in here, but I like it because you could try to use this as a tanking spear if you wanted to try out a different build and give it a shot. 
I haven't seen a lot of tanking spears or a lot of people try this, but I think it's something that could be cool and interesting. But this would give you an option to attempt that if you wanted to. You would have to get it from a war and get it 590 plus out of a cache or chest. But I think this could be an interesting option for people to use. And now for my next ones here. These next ones will be the ones that will come from Raffle Bones. Therefore, these may not be super viable anymore. But if you do see them on the market or you happen to run it at Raffle Bones and get one, I suggest saving it or you can even sell it for a lot of money depending on what it is. But I'm going to run through them anyways just to let you guys know what they are. And so our first one's going to be Tempered Expectations. This one comes with 30 strength and also comes with Enchanted. Light and Heavy Attacks deal 9.6% more damage. Leeching Cyclone. Every hit of the Cyclone heals you for 31% of weapon damage. And Refreshing Evasion reduces active cooldowns by 0.9% after exiting the dodge animation. I thought this might be interesting for a strength build if you wanted to try it out. But again, it's from Raffle Bones, so it's tough to get a hold of. And it probably won't be cheap to get off the market. And so our next one will be the Siren Queen Sparring Spear, also from Raffle Bones. This one has a little bit of weird stats, but I think it's uh, it'd be nice for a dungeon specific role yeah, because it has lost bane on it it might come in handy for certain dungeons or certain situations throughout the world it has 10 focus 20 dexterity as lost bane plus 14 percent damage to lost keenly empowered on critical gain 15 percent power for five seconds and vicious plus 11 percent critical damage like i said this is more of a specific role this isn't really for an everyday use it would be for a dungeon that's lost or something in that area and then our last one as I always do I like to use one for luck just in case you want to grab one for luck and go on a chest run but this one is the broadside sticker it is also from Raffle Bones and has 10 strength and 20 dexterity also has lost bane on it plus 14 percent damage to lost uh, has luck 2.8 percent chance of rare items and chests and monsters and refreshing reduces max cooldowns by 2.8 percent so once again, Raffle Bones is a little bit different than it used to be, not so simple for us, and is a little tougher to get a hold of these weapons, unfortunately. But you can get these off the market from time to time if somebody happens to kill him, or somebody has hoarded a bunch of weapons away and they're selling them off. So just keep an eye on the market, or keep your eye out for Raffle Bones, and you might have a chance at one of these. Now with all the changes coming to New World, there's a lot of perk changes and that means a lot of these weapons are going to change and certain perks are going to become better, certain perks can become worse. So it's going to be interesting to rework some of my lists and make sure they include some of the newer weapons that have better stuff on them. So I'm probably going to wait a few weeks to do another one of these videos, but I do want to keep doing the series. I just wanted to make sure that we got all the weapons that make sense to be on these lists. With all the new changes coming through, I wanted to let them go through and let the update hit, and then I'll make sure to get everything on the list that makes sense to be there. That way I'm not missing anything or, or unable to hit anything that I need to hit. Once again, let me know if I missed a spear that you love and you think is the best. Obviously, you can get the spears off the market that are better for certain situations, or build one yourself that is better for certain situations. But... Generally, these are some of the better dropped ones in the world that you can get. A lot of them are from dungeons, but these are the ones that are available right now. And if you have some that I missed, like I said, drop in the comments and let me know what you guys think. What weapon do you want to see next? Let me know, and I'll try and get that one up next. I appreciate you guys being here. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.